Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps to connect the new Tyke Enterprise Developer Portal to a provider. And the provider in this case is going to be the Tyke Self-Managed Instance. When the connection is established, it will enable the API administrators or API providers to import policies as API products to the portal. Now let's get started. There are a few key prerequisites in order for us to accomplish this. First, you need a Tyke self-managed installation with a valid license key. Then you need to have the enterprise developer portal installed and running with also a valid license key. And if you want to look at the steps to install the developer portal, we've covered that in previous videos. And then finally, we need to have the ability to log into the portal administrative app with valid credentials. Let's head on over to the browser to the developer portal. This is how the external portal looks like. You've got your basic pieces of information, uh, fully customizable. You've got your catalog, your blog, and about us. We'll dive into some of these details in future videos. But for now, I want to log into the portal admin app. So let's hit login. And using my credentials, I'm going to head on over to the admin app. So in here, I'm going to be heading over to providers. Right now, I've got one provider already set up, but I'm just going to remove this, add a new provider from scratch. Here, I can give this a name. This is really an internal reference to the provider, so I can call it Tyke Self Managed. The URL over here is a reference to the provider's host URL for the self managed installation. So for me, because it's set up in Docker, I would use something like host.docker.internal, and I'm running this on port 3000. In your case, this could equally be localhost or any other URL where your installation is accessible from. Now the secret is available on the Tyke dashboard. So let's head on over to the Tyke dashboard. Once again, I'm logged in. And in here, I'm going to be heading over to the users section under system management. I'm going to pick the admin user. And right here, I've got my Tyke dashboard API access credentials, which I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste this under the secret section. Then I need the organization ID, which is also available right here. Copy paste. There are a couple of other fields. We've got policies tags, which is an optional field, but what it really does is that it can be used to define which policies from Tyke will be imported to the portal. So basically which policies will be imported as API products and plans if you want to be very specific about it. In our case, because we are keeping things optional and open, it will be importing any and all API products and plans that are available. The base URL is just the gateway URL that you know refers to the the main gateway URL. Again, once again, not really needed in our case. So I'm just going to hit save. And as you can see, I've got my provider here. There's just one last step that I need to perform, which is to synchronize. Once I do that, what it will do is it will import the, the API products and plans that I've already created under my policies from the Tyke dashboard, and it will push it over to the developer portal and make it accessible here. Yes. And as you can see, I've got my products and plans. I've got one product, one plan at the moment. And if we head on over to the API products, I'll be able to see a user data product that I have and a freemium plan that I also have available at the moment. So there you have it. That is how you would connect a provider to the developer portal. Now, the important part to know here is that you can add multiple providers which are running Tyke self-managed installation. You can have those multiple setups done over here as well. I only have a single one, therefore I'm using one, but you do have the ability to add more instances, but you are restricted to the Tyke self-managed installation only at the moment. So I hope that was helpful. For more information, head on over to the Tyke Docs site. And until next time, cheers and take care.